In some questions, we are asked to compare two exponential expressions and judge at the end whether they are equivalent or not. This is an example of one of these questions. On the left side, I'm going to apply this power of 2 to the contents of the bracket. And I get 13 squared a to the power of 4. On the bottom, the power of 2 is applied just across the contents of the bracket, just to the b squared. So I have a 13, and b squared squared is b to the 4. In this expression, I'm going to convert a to the negative 4 into a to the positive 4 by moving it down into the denominator. b to the 4 stays in the numerator. Now, when I multiply, I can do some cancelling. The b to the 4s cancel. The a to the 4s cancel. And one of the 13s on the top cancels with the 13 on the bottom. All that's left is 13. On the right side, I'm going to convert 26 into 13 times 2. I'll keep a to the negative 1, b to the negative 3. The 2 stays the same. Applying this negative 2 across the bracket, I have a to the negative 2, b to the negative 2. Then, I'm going to get rid of these ne negative exponents. So I'm going to have 13 times 2 on the top. 2 on the bottom. The a to the negative 2 and b to the negative 2 on the bottom move to the top, and I have a squared b squared. The a to the negative 1 and b to the negative 3 move to the bottom, where I have a to the 1, b to the 3. Now I'm going to do some cancelling. The 2's cancel. Both of the b's on the top cancel with two of the b's on the bottom. I end up with a b on the bottom of my resulting fraction. The a on the bottom cancels with one of the a's on the top. I have an a on the top of the fraction. And the 13 has nothing to cancel with. It's still there on the top of the fraction. Because I'm dividing fractions, I multiply instead, and I turn the second fraction upside down. Now, these b's cancel and these a's cancel, all that's left is 13. In the end, 13 equals 13, they are equivalent, and I have to say so. This is how we compare two exponential expressions. In this example, I have a cube root of 3 to the power of 9. I'm going to convert that into exponential form, and I get 3 to the power of 9 thirds. The cube root of this fraction is going to give me 2 to the power of 12 thirds over 5 to the power of 3 thirds. This one has negative exponents, so I'm going to invert the fraction. So I have times 4 cubed over 2 to the 6. <clears throat> Simplifying further, 3 to the 9 thirds is equal to 3 cubed. 2 to the 12 thirds is equal to 2 to the 4. 5 to the 3 thirds is equal to 5 to the power of 1. I'm going to convert 4 into 2 squared. And then applying this power of 3 to the contents of the bracket, I end up with 2 to the 6 over 2 to the 6. Now it's time to do some cancelling. The 2 to the 6 and the 2 to the 6 on top and bottom cancel. And my final answer is 3 cubed, 2 to the power of 4 over 5. Let's see if that's equivalent to what we have on the other side. We have the fifth root of 243. We have to convert 243 into its simplest base to an exponent. 
and that is 3 to the power of 5. We have the fifth root of 3 to the power of 5. The simplest base to exponent of 125 <coughs> is 5 cubed. So I have 5 cubed cubed inside this radical. The simplest base to the exponent of 3125 is 5 to the power of 5. So I have the fifth root of 5 to the 5 here. And I want to convert 81 to its simplest base to an exponent, so I have the square root of 3 to the 4. 2 to the negative 6 moves to the top and becomes 2 to the positive 6. And 2 to the negative 2 moves to the bottom and becomes 2 squared. Converting these to exponential, this becomes 3 to the power of 5 fifths. This one's not ready yet. I still have to simplify the inside of the radical. 5 cubed cubed is 5 to the 9. Here we have 5 to the power of 5 fifths over the square root of 3 to the 4 is 3 to the 4 halves. Here I'll do some cancelling. 2 squared cancels with 2 of the 2's on the top, leaving 2 to the 4 on the top. So I'm just going to write 2 to the 4 over 1. 3 to the 5 fifths is 3 to the 1. Simplifying this radical into an exponential form, I get 5 to the 9 thirds. I'm going to turn this division into a multiplication, which means I'm turning the second fraction upside down. 3 to the 4 halves ends up on the top and is simplified as 3 squared. 5 to the 5 fifths moves to the bottom and is 5 to the 1. We're getting closer. We have 3 to the 1 over 5 cubed times 3 squared over 5 to the power of 1 times 2 to the 4. 3 to the 1 times 3 squared equals 3 cubed. 5 cubed times 5 to the 1 equals 5 to the 4 in the denominator. And then 2 to the 4 is the only term that's the power of 2. It stays in the numerator. Now I can see my final answers to the two expressions and I realize they are not equivalent. 3 cubed and 2 to the 4 are the same but the 5 power in the bottom is 5 to the power of 1 on the left and 5 to the power of 4 on the right. That's not the same. So I have to say they are not equivalent. <coughs>